Good morning. This morning I want to read a story to you. How many of you are familiar with this book? First, I want to read this morning's Bible passage to you. I want you to listen for the Israelites whining and complaining. It comes from the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verses 4 through 9. The Israelites traveled from Mount Hor along the way to the Red Sea. They wanted to go around Edom, but they grew tired on the way. So they spoke against God and against Moses. They said, Why have you brought us up out of Egypt? Do you want us to die here in the desert? We don't have any bread. We don't have any water, and we hate this awful food. Then the Lord sent poisonous snakes among the Israelites. The snakes bit them. Many of the people died. The others came to Moses. They said, We sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake, put it up on a pole, then anyone who is bitten can look at it and remain alive. So Moses made a bronze snake. He put it up on a pole. Then anyone who was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake remained alive. Now, I know some of you focused on the snake in the story, but I wonder what you heard from the people of Israel. What did they complain about? Now, I want to read the story of Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day to you. Again, listen for the whining and complaining. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Viorst, illustrated by Ray Cruz. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box, but in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week, and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby, and... And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with a car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody. No one even answered. 
So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes, but the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said, don't fool around with this phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are just like that. Even in Australia. The end. Both the people of Israel and Alexander needed to learn what Alexander's mother told him at the end of the day when everything went wrong. Some days are just like that. Today's emoji is the face with the hand over the mouth to suggest being ashamed. We feel ashamed when we have done something wrong, like whining and complaining. God doesn't want us to stay ashamed, so God offers grace. Grace is loving people even when they don't deserve it. God continues to love us, care for us, and forgive us even when we really do not deserve it. Today, as we continue to worship, listen for the words that remind us of the grace that God offers us in the songs we sing and in the prayers we say. And listen to one big example of grace that involved lots of snakes. The Israelites experienced a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, but God got them through it. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we are thankful for the grace that you offer us daily. Even when it seems to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, remind us of your presence and love. Amen. Thanks for watching. See you next week.